first said the business developed slowly from a passion cottage industry business through into a factory and five local staff and every step of the way it was just about learning and exploring that new business development. There wasn't really any plan, there wasn't really any structure until a good number of years into my business and it was only when we started to get in with those blue chip companies that I realised that this was actually something I had, something here as a business. Uh, and then going on from that, we had you know, many ups and downs, like every small business. Oh, so you're just constantly getting older. Yeah. International Youth Day, you're still a youth. What's the cutoff point? <laughs> 30, mate. Yeah, That's everyone it. says 30. 30. 30 you, you, yeah. as well. well, for young people, I think the government considers 16 to 24. Oh dear. Mate, that window is going. Mate. Got one Next year left. Year, there's going to be no more of this. One year left, that's it. <laughs> you both, you both 23? Yeah. Right. 24 this November. So. Old youths. Old youths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, my name's Jamie Dunn. I'm 23 years old. I started in Birmingham by doing car boot sales. Um, I used to buy and sell DVDs and CDs on family and friends. Um, and then from there, my kind of role now is I'm a director of Spark Global Education. I work around 25 different countries a year, focused around education, entrepreneurship, building digital assets and digital products that students love, enjoy, and have value from. Because when you're young, you're the kind of bulletproof to value, you don't have a mortgage, you don't have children, you don't have all these financial responsibilities that actually hold a lot of people back in life when they get older and think they've missed their chance and missed their boat. So I just encourage every young person to give it a go and think, well, what's the worst that's going to happen? Because at the end of the day, every kind of failure has feedback and there's a lesson to be learned in every part of it. And, and that's how we develop and grow as individuals. Brilliant. Sound, yeah. It's all taken before. <laughs> I didn't have to have one of the tables. Brilliant. Now we can swap and do each of the stores. Right, we just got back from uh, doing a bit of filming for the Cabinet Office, number 10, for International Youth Day, which is uh, this Wednesday. Um, and basically, we were just telling our little, little bit of our stories and uh, kind of giving some advice for other youth uh, around the world. And I think the main thing about International Youth Day is about social impact this year. So obviously, we were talking about how our journeys began. Yeah, we were. All about the business, all about the money. And you get really whipped up into the whole thing. Uh, and actually now it's more about the social impact and, and the investment in the planet and uh, other people going forward. So, Jamie, we've known each other for too long, too yeah, long. Too, um, uh, about 14, I think, we yes. met up yeah, in here 14, in Selfridges 15. in Birmingham. Back when coffee. technology wasn't this good and yeah, we had an old so, school camera. Yeah, that was it. So, Jamie, I mean, after all those years we've known each other, what would you say is the main lesson you've learned from all those years? Um, that surrounding yourself with good people can lead to good things. So, obviously, we've been on and off for like 14, since 14. Yeah. And obviously, you've been in my life, so good people means good <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Travel overseas together. We and, have, yeah, we have. some interesting experiences. Yeah, we've been to some weird and cool <laughs> yeah, places definitely. together. Done some cool stuff. What about you? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's the same thing. I think for me, it was more about uh, doing something I loved and not getting whipped up in the whole business, the commerciality, the money, because mm. that stuff will come. But it only happens if you create something valuable. Yeah, and you, you obviously enjoy it day in yeah, day. Yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't got something valuable, no one's going to buy it. You're yeah. not going to make money, and you're not going to sell. And I think also, you know. It, uh, unless it's genuine, people know. You know, it's disingenuous. Yeah, you can see when, through somebody. When somebody's trying to sell you it. something. So, what's what's for you? You know, what's your plan now, then, Jamie? What, what's I don't the next know, ten years? Like? Ten years? Yeah. I might be dead in ten years. It's a bit scary <laughs> to think about True. it. Um, that I want to focus a bit more on my health, fitness. Obviously, training for an Ironman next year, so that's yeah. consuming a lot yeah, of my yeah, time. Yeah. Um, and just carry on doing good stuff with good people. Awesome, mate. Things great. to live by. Yeah. But you're off moving, travelling the world again, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm sort of going to announce soon. Uh, I've got some stuff going up with Mexico and loads of stuff. But I think it's the same for me, you know. it's It gets to a point where it's it's about you and it's mm. about your life and the people around you and your Agreed. family and your friends and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's becoming more and more important to me every year. Yeah, it's interesting to see that, especially as we both started out wanting to just yeah. make money and run a business. Yeah, absolutely. Sort of yeah, yeah.
Right, I'm going to grab Jamie for a little bit of an interview sometime soon. Come over to Worcester where he's you moved from the city, now I you're am, a country boy. used to be a city boy, yeah. now a country Digworth, boy. Yeah, and now, yeah literally, just yeah. over there where I used to live. Yeah, yeah. And now I live out in a country with fields and green air and people that have different accents to me. <laughs> so it's quite cool actually. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'll grab, grab you for another interview soon. And uh, But it's been great to be obviously involved in the filming today, International Youth Day. And it is really important, I think, from our perspective. You know, we've been both doing it for like 10, 11 yeah. years now. It's so important that everybody creates the community, creates the support, helps each other, and also understands what it's really about. I think there's a lot of rubbish out there about entrepreneurialism, yeah. business, and everything else. So passing that baton down to the younger people and actually saying look you need to look through all of the the crap that you see yeah, and all of the yeah, materialistic yeah, yeah. things and focus on what's really important yeah and sometimes that isn't just about being no 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 exactly it's about the impact yeah so yeah check out all the stuff on international youth day uh, i'm going to be sharing stuff you're going to be sharing yeah. stuff about it obviously the cabinet office have got some great programs going on uh, i'm going to be sharing their video that they in the interview that they yeah, did I'll with us the and uh, yeah we'll catch up again soon brilliant look forward yeah. to it awesome stay tuned